In this episode of the Get Fed podcast, we cover how you can keep going when you don't feel like it and some tips and tricks you can use to get out there even when it's hard. I'm JB, master presenter, former Fortune 50 sales executive, and your guide for everything sales and productivity. I'm the doctor, Dr. Andre Caruso, a clinical psychologist and your resident expert in behavior, mindset, and wellness. We hope you're hungry. It's time to get fed by JB and the doctor. What's up, everybody? I'm JB. This is the Get Fed Podcast. I am your host for this week, co-founder of Evolve Performance and Development and Evolve and Thrive. Thank you so much for taking a listen. If you haven't yet, do me a favor, like, subscribe, follow, all those fun things that everybody asks you to do. We're going to ask you to do as well. Turns out the more you do that, the more people hear our content and the better we feel about the impact that we're making. And it is all about the impact. Really, it is. I mentioned we were going to talk about how do I keep going when I'm tired or I'm not feeling like it or maybe I'm even beat up. This question has been posed directly to me by multiple people in the last month or two. and. It's a tough question to answer because we all have different motivations for why we're grinding it out or trying to get something done. And then for some of us, what looks like a grind might not really be a grind at all. But in all instances in life and business, there are things that are tedious, that, that are work that do require us to dig a little deeper to, to get it done. And I find it interesting to be asked this question because it's a question I would expect Doc to be asked more frequently than I am. And Doc, I'm sure, has a response, and maybe we'll even give a response on this at another time. But I'm going to share my perspective on how to do this. And I'm going to assume for a moment that I'm being asked because from the outside looking in, people don't feel like I struggle with something like this. And yet I don't know anybody who doesn't struggle. It's whether it's visible or not. So how do I personally keep going when I don't want to keep going? And I'm going to level set and say, I've been in sales my entire career. And anybody in sales knows that you're faced with a lot of rejection, especially early on. Uh, if you're a business owner, chances are you had a sales role and you faced a lot of rejection as well. It's not easy facing rejection. The first thing I'm going to say, though, is I have found in sales that there's a lot of different activities you can do to move forward and make progress. And not all of them require you to get knocked down over and over and over again. And so one of the first things I recommend is if you're really struggling out there to, to do what you need to do and you're feeling down or beat up or you're having trouble digging deep, I'd ask you to step back and maybe just think about what else can I do right now in this moment that will be progress. It will move me forward in the direction I need to go. That's not going to break me. What is that one thing? Because if that next phone call, that next no is going to break me, well, what else can I do that's going to make progress? What do I need to get done that I can do that's important that won't hurt me. And so a lot of times this could be as simple as, all right, well, you know what? I've got some notes to catch up on. Uh, let me, let me get some notes in and update my CRM. Rather than look at this as an avoidance, first of all, I hope everybody appreciates a CRM is, is absolutely essential for effective sales and business development. But, uh, rather than viewing this as an avoidance technique, it's healthy to view this as a chance to process some of your conversations because if you're updating notes in your CRM, chances are you're doing a few things. One, you're going to update good and bad notes, which means you're going to have an opportunity to revisit 
and work through some positive experiences that you've had with people that ha have been some wins. Maybe you didn't celebrate them. Maybe you didn't think of them as wins in the moment, but they are wins. And then it's going to have you a chance to work through some of the not so good conversations, potentially some of the no's or, or some of the things that make you feel a little bit beat up. And there's there's some real value in doing that as well because it helps you process through it. As you as you write it out, as you take those notes, I do find that it it makes you a little bit more objective. It gives you a little bit more perspective, helps you realize, hey, this is an instance, this is one instance. It's not, it's not an ongoing persistence. It's an instance. And that can be really helpful. So one of the first things I do when I'm struggling, I'll just step back and try to do something different. That is, that is one mechanism that I think is really effective for people out there. And if you haven't tried doing that, it's a good one to do. There's another thing I absolutely love to do, which you might not want to hear, but I'm going to say it anyways, which is immediately after getting kicked in the stomach, getting kicked in the teeth, getting knocked down, beat up, hurting, I'll make the next call. I'll have the next meeting and I'll put myself in a position again. Because the only way I'm going to get past that in the moment is to have a fresh moment. And what happened in the past is exactly that. It happened in the past. And so they beat me up. They knocked me down. They kicked me in the stomach. Whatever. Because this next one might not be the case. I don't know what this next one's going to be. I do know it's an opportunity. And it's a new opportunity for it to be different. And if you really think about it, most of the time, if we're struggling... We're having things not go our way. Well, that's okay because generally it's not as bad as we think in an individual circumstance. And so taking the next opportunity, seizing it, picking up the phone, going to the meeting, whatever it happens to be, really strong mechanism that can help overcome that and just move you beyond it. Okay, on to the next, on to the next. Third mechanism that I would look at. This one you can do ahead of time. It's really effective. If your calendar is full, if you have a really solid schedule, day in and day out, you don't have time. Sorry, you you just you you're just gonna go because it's in front of you and it has to be done. And that is more effective than you might think because you don't have time to allow something to perturb you and really take you off your equilibrium. You just need to go out there and move because it's on the calendar and you're full and you don't have time to worry about this. And I'm not saying you don't process it later. I'm just saying in the moment, you don't allow it to derail you from what you need to do. But later that night, in the morning, take some time to reflect, use a planner, a journal, meditate, whatever it is, work through and process that outside of the, your, your hours of the day. You can actually work with other people because that's not all hours. And it's an effective strategy to take care of this. So if you are struggling with trying to get things done, you're feeling down, you're feeling run down, beat up, uh, out of sorts, out of whack, you don't have the motivation or encouragement. I just really encourage you to try those three mechanisms. One, step back to something else that still provides progress. Two, lean in, attack it, and go after it. Or three, I would say and three, not or. Fill that schedule up. Don't allow your calendar to get light. Get in front of as many people as possible. That is the name of the game in almost everything business. The more people you're in front of, the more effective you're going to be, the more sales you'll have. If you're in sales or biz depth, hugely important. That's a lot to chew on. No pun intended here on the Get Fed podcast. That's a full course meal right there. Three different ways you can attack and address it. Three different methods that may work for different people at different times. And one which I think consistently should be implemented by everybody. But if you're struggling with this, pick up the phone, give me a call. Love to have a conversation. I'm the first to admit this impacts me as well. I just have found after nearly 20 years of being in sales, these methods work really well to help me address it. And nothing gets you over that hump like a win. So get out there, get yourself a win, and let me know how it goes, all right? Hey, I'm JB. Again, the Get Fed podcast available on every major service, including YouTube. If you haven't liked, subscribed, followed, why not? I want to know why. Tell me why, please. Or just go ahead. Give us a little love. Give us that like, subscribe, follow. I'll talk to you soon, all right? JB out.